72% of the people who were surveyed want to stop building new roads. Stop building new roads and instead invest in transit. If you ask voters if they support unifying the CTA, Metra, PACE, and RTA into one agency, voters across Illinois support that idea by a two to one margin. The system needs more money and it's PACE's obligation to provide, to provide service in the suburbs. And I think putting us all in one service board will make those needs in the, the outer areas not as important. Well, as agencies push back, the new poll shows public favor for consolidating mass transit in the Chicagoland area. It's Illinois in focus. Get the headlines at thecentersquare.com. The latest story from Kevin Bessler. Uh, it has just that headline about public transit. And let's delve into this a bit as we uh, might see some action on this during fall veto session after the election. Uh, Illinois legislators are going to be coming back for six scheduled days. And we'll obviously talk a lot about what's expected and what's likely going to fall flat. Uh, but a new poll commissioned by uh, a group of environmental uh, jobs proponents uh, shows that public support for consolidating Chicago's mass transit agencies is there. Uh, the Illinois Clean Jobs Coalition said by a two to one margin, Illinoisans favor uh, combining the Chicago Transit Authority, MACE, uh, Metra, PACE, and the Regional Transit Authority. Statewide, 46% of respondents supported the unification of the agency, while 21% were opposed. Uh, so clearly, uh, this is an issue that uh, you have uh, pollsters going out asking, hey, do you think uh, we should consolidate uh, these agencies? And listen, uh, government consolidation has always been something at the top of the ticket for some who want reform in Illinois, because Illinois has... I think the most government bodies of any states, we've got like 7,000 plus. Uh, you got to talk about not just, uh, you know, county governments, municipal governments, township governments, school district governments, taxing bodies for community colleges, taxing bodies for mosquito abatement districts, taxing bodies for park districts, uh, all of this layered on. Uh, so if you pull up your you know, property tax bill, you'll see uh, all of these different taxing bodies. Well, Illinois uh, has 7,000 plus, I believe. So there's always been a push for consolidation of like, say, uh, townships have practically the same. Uh, boundaries as a village or a city why not just combine all of that save on manpower and such and there's always been pushback uh, by those who manage these uh, taxing bodies uh, you know a variety of things jobs uh, local control uh, and a, a variety of other arguments made to uh, say we don't want consolidation but when it comes to the mass transit situation there's a 730 million dollar funding cliff and a lot of that's because, well, COVID dollars are drying up. You've got deferred maintenance, uh, billions of dollars of deferred maintenance on tracks and equipment and such. Uh, so it led to uh, State Representative uh, Beth Canty, uh, a Democrat, uh, taking to a podium and sharing her thoughts about why this needs to uh, be all consolidated. There wasn't a way for the RTA to require the three service agencies to work together. You either passed their budgets or you didn't. For example, the CTA, Metra, and PACE all have separate apps that don't work well together or don't work together at all, forcing people to juggle multiple apps, multiple schedules, and separate fares that just don't work as well as they should. What my constituents want is to hop on a train to take in a game or a show, have a seamless transition to a bus or an L, pay one fare, and arrive at their destination on time. They want to take transit to get from Arlington Heights to Schaumburg or to get to school at Harper College. But those suburb to suburb bus routes were cut years ago and the regional connectivity just isn't happening. That's why if you ask voters if they support unifying the CTA, Metra, PACE and RTA into one agency, voters across Illinois support that idea by a two to one margin by margins of 54 to 27% in Chicago, 49 to 21% in suburban Cook County, and 53 to 19% in the collar counties. The data shows us that efforts to pit the city of Chicago against the Cook County suburbs and the collar counties are not working. So Mary Beth Canty uh, sharing her thoughts about the outcome of this poll from the Illinois Clean Jobs Coalition. Uh, 
State Representative Eva Delgado also sharing her thoughts, and in particular, what she says is a pretty prominent uh, issue that uh, voters support in the Chicagoland area. Um, people want to see real solutions. They don't want to see Band-Aids, and they don't want to see a failed status quo. 72% of the people who were surveyed want to stop building new roads, stop building new roads, and instead invest in transit, invest in bikes, invest in the infrastructure that allows mobility to be able to continue without having to jump in a car. And the MMA is a major step forward for that policy, and it gets to what the vast majority of most Illinois voters want. The MMA will unify CTA, PACE, Metra, and RTA into one better functioning, more efficient, and more effective transit agency that provides seamless apps, seamless scare schedules, and seamless fares. It's just common sense. Our transit agencies face a $730 million funding cliff, and legislators in Springfield have said very clearly that there will be no new revenue unless there is real reform. Well, uh, in July, though, a Senate uh, Transportation Committee, they had a series of them, uh, talking with uh, you know, agency directors uh, across the mass transit space in Illinois. Uh, and in July's hearing, you had uh, PACE Executive Director Melinda Metzger uh, saying that consolidation wouldn't be beneficial. Qu quite honestly, you know, we've, we've read the report. We all are in favor, I'm gonna speak for us all, you guys can say I'm wrong, but we're all in favor of doing what's best for the customer. We all wanna do the best job we can. I do not believe that combining us into one organization will make us better. Um, first of all, we all have board members who are local, who understand um, the local needs, and they give us a lot of input. Secondly, we all have different service areas. I cover, you know, 3,500 3, square miles, 15 times the city of Chicago. To put us all under one board, the needs of the suburban areas, the farther away areas, um, will not be met as well as they're met right now. It, the system needs more money, and it's PACE's obligation to, to provide service in the suburbs, and I think putting us all in one service board will make those needs in the, the outer areas not as important, not because we don't want to do it, we all want to do a good job, but just there's pressures in different organizations. So uh, clearly uh, there's not an appetite from uh, some of the agency executive directors to consolidate, saying it's uh, expected it could take away from the agency's ability to better manage things. Uh, so we'll see what happens there uh, in this space as we get closer to fall veto session. And if it's gonna be something that comes up then or if it's gonna be something that is brought up in the new General Assembly that is gonna be seated in mid-January. So if you wanna stay up to date on that and other things impacting you, the Illinois taxpayer, be sure to get the newsletter at thecentersquare.com and also get the podcast each and every weekday morning here with Illinois in Focus, anywhere you get podcasts and wake up with us live for Illinois in Focus with America's Talking Network.